Good afternoon, I'm Faye Barker. The King and Queen say they were deeply touched by yesterday's coronation events and are profoundly grateful to those who made it such a glorious occasion. Well, today, communities across the country are gathering for street parties and lunches ahead of the coronation concert at Windsor Castle this evening. Nick Wallace reports. 250 miles away from the pomp of Westminster Abbey, substantial amounts of coronation quiche are being prepared for one of the thousands of feasts and street parties planned to celebrate a king. So I've just been helping through the day, uh, making sure we've got enough food prep for all the visitors coming in over the weekend, so everyone's got plenty of food so they can enjoy themselves and have a great weekend. The atmosphere in Cornwall is quite a contrast to the occasion being celebrated, the crowning of Charles III. God save the king! Yesterday was all about pageantry as the British state put on a spectacular display, watched on television by an audience peaking at 20 million viewers. After the service, precision drilled marching bands formed a mile long parade as the royal family were taken in style to Buckingham Palace. Then came the crowds rushing to the gates to hail the king and his queen Camilla. As the royal family waved from the balcony, the red arrows flew in over London and fired up the smoke trails, providing yet another memorable moment. In Windsor today, another crowd is gathering, making their way to the castle for this evening's focal point. A pop concert featuring two big American stars, Lionel Richie, and Katy Perry, with Take That leading the British contingent. My personal favourite, Lionel Richie, and I'm a big fan of Gary Barlow, so really excited to see Take That. It's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, and it's this very special moment. The King and Queen have sent their warmest good wishes to everyone taking part in today's big lunches and street parties, with members of the royal family expected to be dropping in on a select few. Nick Wallace, ITV News. Queen Camilla's coronation bouquet has been laid at the grave of the unknown warrior at Westminster Abbey. The bunch of English spring flowers were laid on the grave at the Queen's request. They were arranged by Shane Connolly from Belfast, who also provided floral arrangements for the King and Queen's wedding. Mary will have the evening news live from Buckingham Palace at 6.25 tonight. Until then, have a lovely afternoon. Bye-bye.